Yo, uh, Apollo Brown, producer, Detroit. Creative control, man. Just being able to uh, to make sounds and and music and create feelings, you know, every day, you know, that I want to do and. and Oh man, inspiring man. I live in Detroit, so every time I look out the window, man, it's inspiration. You know, uh, whenever I hear a new beat from somebody else or a new song from somebody else, or if I just uh, put the headphones on, man, and, and listen to something from the '90s, or or if I'm listening to some old soul or, or or some old yacht rock, man, it doesn't matter what it is, man. If it's good, it's inspiring to me. Um, just life, life in general is inspiring. That's why I make a lot of life music. Man, probably uh, hearing, uh, looking at the front door by uh, Main Source and, and buying that album, man. Breaking Adams was, that's what changed my life as far as hip hop's concerned, man. That was a great memory. Um, every time I set foot in headquarters, it's, uh, it's, it's nostalgic, man. It's a place of, uh, when you walk through headquarters, man, it's like, you know how many, how many great artists have been, you know, through those walls and, and, and have walked on that floor, and um, you know it, it, that's always it's always the same. Every, you know, if I walk in there, it's like, damn, man, this is it's, it's nostalgic. It's a nostalgic feeling. This feeling comes over you, and it's just like, wow, man, there's so many great albums and, and, and classic material that's been cut here, and uh, so many classic people and artists that walk through here, and I'm, you know proud to be among just the, the aura that's inside of that building, you know, so that, that you know, that, I don't think that feeling will ever change. I mean, just, just uh, knowing that, that there's a, uh, a fan base out there for me, you know, and for a while, man, I was kind of down, you know, I got discouraged because I was listening to the radio and, and watching TV and, and I was sitting there thinking like, yo, there's no, you know, the music has changed a lot nowadays, man, and there's no fan base for me. And, I actually quit for a couple of years. I quit for two years between uh, 05 and 06. I didn't touch a beat. And then I came back in 07. And um, after realizing that, that, you know, my niche does have a, have a fan base and there are people out there that are yearning for my type of style and my sound. So, uh, you know, I had to overcome that. I'm still overcoming that because, you know, I'm still building a fan base and I'm still, you know, kind of establishing myself and, and, my, and my sound. And, um, you know, I don't think I'll ever stop. If I'm going to, uh, if I'm going to make an album, a full-length album, I don't mind songs doing over the email and all that stuff, but if we're going to make a full-length album, we need to get in person, we need to vibe out, you know, uh, in the studio together. And um, I don't care if it's for a week or two weeks or a whole month. We need to be in person. We got to make these songs together. We got to mesh. We got to build on it. And, um, you know, I don't do that email album stuff. One word, consistent. I want people to look at me and, and look at my legacy and look at the music that I've, uh, I've put out there, whether it's a song or whether it's an album or whether it's a, a catalog of 20 plus albums, whatever. I want them to say, yo, this dude was consistent. He didn't make hits, but his music was so consistent, you know, uh, across the board. And that's, that's, that's what I want to be known as. Uh, I just want to be really consistent. Check out my Twitter, at Apollo Brown. Check out my Instagram, at Apollo Brown. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Apollo Brown.